Hey there, Aquarius. Well, it's time for you versus them reading for January 2024. So this is your side. This is the person that's on your mind, the person you're thinking about, the person you want to know about on this side. In the middle, we're going to do your combined energies, the energy you're mutually sharing, which you're both feeling at the same time. Okay, now let's start with you. What are your thoughts about your person? Hmm. Six of Wands, there's like a victory here. You want a victory with them? You want something to work out? You want to get attention maybe? Ooh, the Knight of Coins. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe you're thinking they're very slow moving here, right? And there's some kind of, I think you want to heal a situation. This is a time to maybe, this might have been some kind of three of swords that happened between you guys. And you want to speak the truth and heal a situation. And I almost feel like you want a victory here, but no matter what the outcome, it feels like there has to be a heal. And that's the strong energy I'm feeling here. Let's see about this Knight of Pentacles. We have the key. Okay, so here's the key. To, there's some kind of knowledge or you want to know something or something about a key. Look at this nice size key too. Information, knowledge, um, opening doors, closing doors. I just feel more like anything you want to know something. There's something that has not been said. Maybe. Okay, let's clarify right away. Why is the Six of Wands here? Denying of swords. There's a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights maybe, thinking about this person or thinking about what happened. Um, what about this Knight of Pentacles? Six of Cups. Yes, this is a person from the past. There's fond memories of the past here. Okay, now, as far as this Four of Swords, we have here the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. I also think that maybe at this time now, you're probably focusing on your money here. I think you're the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, let me get a charm on Queen of Pentacles. We have here a snowflake, one of a kind, unique. You know, I feel like you're focusing on your money, but as far as this um, connection, this was different. This was very unique for you guys. You're saying this person was different than any of the others. I think there's a, a strong feelings here. And it might have something to do about money, too, with her holding that pentacle. It's sort of like really standing out for me. So let's see what the words are. First, with this Knight of Pentacles. We have regret, freedom, spying, always. This, maybe you feel like this person's spying, but you, there's some kind of regrets there. I think, I almost feel like you feel like this person, maybe your thoughts are that they probably regret what happened, that they were spying or they were doing something here, or someone was spying, and that this brought in this, you know, this breakup. I'm talking about the freedom feels like more like a breakup. Okay, what about the Queen of Pentacles? We have here caring, alone, expect okay the thoughts are i think you really care about this person and you expect to have some alone time with them to try to heal the situation maybe okay let's go over to their side what are their thoughts about you okay we have here the knight of pentacles very slow moving here. You both have the Knight of Pentacles here for thoughts. And we have here, this is the Eight of Wands. Someone wants to get things going here. Their thoughts are they want to start moving things along here. And that has been slow. And we have here, this is the Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on this. This might be someone that you worked with too with the work card here. But it feels like they want, they're very slow moving on this, but they want things to start moving. Okay, let me get a charm on this Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we have here, yeah, they want to balance things out here. They want justice. We have the scale. It could be a Libra energy here, too. 
So I want to balance things out with you. Okay. Now let's clarify this Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Coins. Ah, Page of Wands. They're thinking of getting a message to you. They want to talk to you. They want to reach out. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have here. And the King of Cups. They have a lot of love for you. And we have the Knight of Wands. They have a lot of passion desire for you, too. It feels like they want to come in quickly here. Okay. So their thoughts are, they're going through a lot of things in their mind. Looks like. Let's get something on this page of wands. We have here a pipe. Does someone smoke a pipe? You know what? As soon as I said that, I got peace pipe. I think this person wants to smoke a peace pipe with you. If that means actually smoking a pipe, I don't know. But um, it might be, you know, just bringing a peace pipe. Bringing some, something towards you. An offering, it feels like. Okay, let's see about this King of Cups. We have here a message. They want to get a message to you. Important message. And then this Knight of Wands. We have two. Okay, so we have two hearts entwined here. Plus we have a hammer, two heads. I think this person is in two heads about something here, about this connection, about how to make something work. They're going back and forth, it feels like. Okay, they also might use a hammer, or you might use a hammer. Someone might use a hammer in your field. Okay, let's get the words now. So we have here, yeah, we got the Nine of Pentacles underneath. Let's get that first. Admitted, is it soulmate? Oh. So they're admitting something here. They feel this close connection. They're wondering if you guys are soulmates. Let's see about the page of wands. Never forget, expose. Okay, so something about they never forgot or they're never going to forget that something was exposed. Maybe they were exposed. Okay, or maybe they fear you're never going to forget about something being exposed. What about this King of Cups? Excited. Very soon. Memories. This person's looking to reach out to you very soon. Okay, now what about this Knight of Wands? Okay, Tower. Healing. Third party. Oh. So some kind of shock, surprise, something unexpected. Someone wants to heal something to do with a third party. Now a third party could be someone cheated, but ne that doesn't necessarily mean that all the time. It could be anything coming in between you and this person. It could be long distance. It could be work. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be money. It could be addiction. It could be anything that came in between. This person is going to surprise you and they want to heal whatever this is. Okay, so now... What about your feelings towards this person? What are your feelings here? i got to pause this a minute. Okay, your feelings towards this person. Oops, they're trying to pop here. Let me take this top one. Okay, so a Knight of Cups. You might be feeling to make them an offer here. Um, Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy to offer your cup. Ah, but there's a devil energy here. There's some kind of, maybe you're fearing some kind of addiction or, hmm, oh, a magician too. What is going on here? Okay, let's get something on this Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, then we have Capricorn, Aquarius, uh, Lib uh, Aquarius, Aquarius and Aries. Let's see, Peace. Okay, you might be thinking of making peace with this situation, but there might be something you're worried about, maybe some kind of addiction or fear here, obsession, of jealousy. This can be a whole bunch of different things with the devil, or it could be something about a Capricorn here. But you you might be trying to manifest something with this person. You have all the tools you need to manifest something. Let's clarify this. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Nine of Pentacles, a very independent, wealthy energy here. This is like money coming in, or you're feeling that maybe money's going to be coming in for you, or maybe them. 
But this is also a single energy. Okay, let's see. What about this devil? Why is the devil here? We have three of pentacles. You know what? I the thing is I'm feeling that you're you're worried about who they're working with. What other energies do they have around them? You're not trusting that. Okay. There might be other people around them that they're working with or they're involved with and you don't like that. Let's see about the magician. So maybe why this is what this came out. That you'd be willing to go towards them if they're single and not involved with other people. Because this here feels like they might be around other people that are toxic or they're very bad. Let's see about the magician. The hangman. Okay, so you're going to be waiting. You're waiting for something to happen here. You're going to wait to see. Your feeling is your best bet is to wait to see what they do or wait to see what comes out of this. You're gaining a better perspective. Pisces energy. Okay, let's get the word on this um, night of touch. Finances. Obsessed. Tower. Okay. Something about finances here. Someone being obsessed with finances and a tower happening. Some kind of surprise. Something about the finance. Okay, let me get a clarifier on the finances. If that works. Okay, we have here. Oh, we have the jewelry store. Huh. Did that make sense to you? Something about jewelry? Someone being obsessed with jewelry or finances or invest in jewelry? That, you know, that's not going to be for everyone, of course. Okay, let's see what their feelings are for you. Ooh, Ace of Cups. A lot of love here. And then we have here the King of Wands. A lot of passion, a lot of desire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Destiny, Divine Timing. They might be feeling like you guys are meant to be together. Let me get something on this King of Wands. A lot of passion, a lot of creativity. Very Oh, there. And we have music. Something to do with music. A connection with music. Maybe someone works in the music industry. Okay, let's see about the Ace of Cups. They want a victory with you in love. They want to get noticed by you. Let's see about the King of Wands. And the Seven of Pentacles. Really looking at this, to, hoping for a second chance or, or to um, work on this. And the Wheel of Fortune. We have the world. Ending, new beginning, coming back around. They're hoping for another, another chance here. Okay, let's get the word on the King of, King of Wands. Confess. Phone call. Friend or friends. Keep some money. I gotta cough. So. Sorry about that. I didn't want to cough. Okay, so 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 they're gonna they're gonna contact you somehow, some way. Phone call, letter, email, something. They're gonna reach out. Something about friend or friends keeping the money. If that makes sense to you. It might be for you, might not. Let's get a clarifier and keeps the money. Someone lost money. Someone lost money and someone, I guess someone kept it or something. Somehow someone lost money in this situation. If that makes sense here. <coughs> okay, so now, let's see here. What action might you take towards them? Emperor. You might take charge here. Ten of coins to do with a commitment. And you might be moving away for something to go. Maybe moving away something to go towards them. Or you might be relocating. You might also be moving away from an emperor. Someone that might be controlling. It might be an Aries. Doesn't have to be. Okay. And what we don't see here is an... The Knight of Swords, someone moving here quickly. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So it definitely could be your energy making a fast move here. Let's see here about this Emperor. Three of Cups. A celebration. A get-together. Taking charge of a situation, maybe. And the Ten of Coins. The Lovers. Yes, commitment. I You would like probably to take action towards this person, maybe to go out. 
Oh, here's Choice Card, Gemini Energy with the Lovers. And the Six of Swords. Five of Swords. Yeah, you're moving away from, you want to move away from any kind of conflict, other people's involvement, anybody trying to um, cause any kind of um, chaos or gossip or any kind of, you know, nasty energy you want to move away from. What else do we don't see come? The Empress. So you're coming into the Empress energy. I think you're moving forward on something here. You don't see this coming yet or someone's moving towards you. Let me get this um, charm on this Knight of Swords. We have here. Yes, someone's coming here with love towards you quickly. And you're also coming in time of abundance or, or birthing something here. With the Empress, this is the most prosperous card of all the uh, cards in the deck. It's Libra Taurus Energy. It seems like you don't see this coming yet, but something coming towards you. Maybe someone's coming to offer that's going to bring you prosperity or help you, help you to create something new, to give birth to something new. It could be a baby, but it also could be a business, a career, something like that. Okay, let me get the word on the Knight of Swords. Gift. Sharing. Feelings. Okay. This, someone's coming in towards you. They're, you're not going to see this coming yet. But they're going to come in with a gift. And they want to also share their feelings with you. Wow. Okay. So now what action might this person take towards you? Ooh, the star. Hopes and wishes and dreams coming true here. Okay. Aquarius, that's your card too. And then we have the sun. A lot of happiness. They want to come towards you and make you happy. Make your wishes come true. And then we have here, this is, wait a minute, this is, I'm trying to see what the number is, a two. Okay, so this is the high priestess. Or is it two pentacles? No, it's a two of pentacles. Trying to balance something out here. Yeah, this person wants to come in and make things right, trying to balance things out. Um, okay. Now we have what you don't see coming is this Ace of Wands. A lot of passion, a lot of desire. Okay, so now with the star... We have here the King of Wands again. Yeah, they're coming in with a lot of passion and desire for you. They're, they want to make a move here. They want to make you happy. I'm going to put the rest of the cards down. The sun we have here. The devil. Oh, they have, they might be, I think this person is obsessing over you. Capricorn energy. They also might be jealous, but they're, they're going to make you happy though. It's like, and, and look at this, the two of pentacles again, trying to balance things out, trying to make a decision here. And we also have the death card here. So this is a major change. Scorpio energy. This is ending, new beginning, rebirth, transformation. This person is coming in with a lot of passion to try to bring this connection back around. Let me get the charm on this King of Wands. We have, yeah, we have the butterfly here. Transition, a change, something tra changing here. Let me get the words now on this. We have here, will you expect change oh will you expect this change from this person or as, as saying will you so expect change this person might be coming to ask you if you will accept them that they have changed wow this is pretty pretty intense it looks like a really good reading it looks like you're coming if you hope you want this person because they really want you Okay, let's see. The mutual feelings between you two. Oh, okay, let's take those. They went flying out, flying right on you here. So we have key. Reconciliation, but it's coming in reverse. So you both want this, and maybe you're uncertain if it can happen. Okay, so this is like, but there is a key. There's information. Something has to, feels like knowledge has to be, has to come out here so like you have the key to your success 
Okay, but it seems like you both want this and unsure if it can happen. It's interesting. And then we have crossroads. You're both at a crossroads. And the bottom we have deception. You're both worried about deception. Okay, so it's like I feel like you both have very intense feelings for each other. But you're not trusting that it will that someone won't hurt someone and if you're feeling that about each other i think you're both maybe afraid of being vulnerable if something you'll get hurt so you're both at the crossroads you both want this reconciliation it doesn't mean it won't happen it means like it's delayed or something's going on where it's in reverse here okay so now let's see what signs we could be dealing with what are the signs here Sagittarius and links could be placement in your chart, placement in their chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. Sagittarius, Cancer, Capricorn, Cancer again, Aries, and Aquarius. Okay, so we have <laughs> I got cough again. Okay, sorry about that. I had the lingering cough from being sick. Okay, so now we have here. Placement your chart, placement other people's chart, past, present, future, Sagittarius, Cancer, Capricorn, Cancer, Aries, and Aquarius. Now we'll do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's initials for their first and last name, and they have a middle name, you know that middle name. You get that initial also all the better. Let's see. Past, present, and future. We have A, K, Y, F, P, F, N, U, Z, F, P. Okay, so the letters we have for you today are A, K, Y, F, P, F, N, U, Z, F, P. Now we'll do the names. 11 or more names. Let's see what names want to come up. Okay, we have Gordy, G O R D I E. Sunari, S O O N E H R E E. Sharice, C H E R I S E. Rodney, Tasha, T A S H A. Pauly, P A U L E. Roger, Mark, spelled M-A-R-C. We have Chanel, C-H-E-N-N-E-L-L. -L. Heather, you know how many I have here now? Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need one more, right? No, oh, is there one? No, okay. Let's make sure I didn't have one hiding. One more. And we have Manu. M-A-N-U. Okay, so those are names. Now remember, guys, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. If it does not resonate, you can always check out your other placements. If you watch your sun sign, then watch your moon rising or Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more. Might give you that missing piece, that missing link. The part of the puzzle makes everything sort of click together. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. And um, I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, your super thanks. I appreciate it all. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.